right, so I want to show you how to use OBS Studio, which is a pretty cool tool. That's what I've been starting to use to record videos. So let me just uh, get to it there. Uh, all right, so now uh, you will have downloaded OBS Studio. Uh, okay. And anyways, I get this error probably because I'm running this, but or but anyways, I'm just ignoring. So you download OBS. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings first. You want to make sure that your um, output is set to mp4 over here right I already said it the default comes with flv so I set it to mp4 already uh, your audio you probably don't you can play around with that if you want I, I just left it as is your video I changed this here it came in at uh, at um, 1280 by 720 I changed it to 1920 by 1080 but again that's that's a preference right I mean it's, and the oh the other thing you want to set is the video bitrate over here 2500 is fine they can go higher if you're doing uh, games and, and other things uh, some say 8,000 10,000 but really that just makes bigger files and especially if you're going to be just doing videos for the internet and computer screenshots uh, 2500 is fine so just click on okay here all right so now the way it works with OBS is that you have what are called scenes and in each scene you have sources okay so sources are things like an image uh, a, 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 a desktop you know a view to your desktop a view to, into a certain application uh, your webcam your microphone all those things are all considered sources and the way you do um, the, and the way it works is you have scenes so you can have a scene where your screen is black and you get a welcome like I do with my videos I have a welcome screen that just says you know welcome with my picture on there and I kind of put that on there first and then I switch over to a scene with that welcome message in my webcam up in the corner and then uh, most often I switch over to a scene that's got just my webcam so you see just my webcam and then I switch over to a scene that's got my desktop and the webcam down the bottom like you're seeing right here you got the desktop and the webcam down the bottom so um, that's that's what I that's 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 what I use I use OBS so I'm going to show you how to do that all right so first you have to create scenes so say for example I have a scene that's black right now it's already there uh, and that just means I just call it black because I don't put anything on there at all so there's nothing so there's no source um, then uh, you could create a welcome scene right and in that scene you could just put one image so an image and I just say okay and I'm going to browse to my images I have on my computer here uh, say just as an example one of these branding videos I did so the this one here for example I just put that there and there you go so now I have a welcome you know screen right then I create another scene I say welcome with webcam all right so now I over here I put uh, two I'm going to put the same image and that the way it works is you say add existing okay the same image and then I'm going to add the webcam which is a video capture device and uh, be, uh, anyway so and then it'll show me the different options I have so there's two of them I'm going to use this one because I have two webcams one is recording this particular and then I'm just the one I'm showing you is this one right so just like this and as you can see it's up here in the corner and uh, actually one thing I like to do too is I like to also put a um, <coughs> an image around my webcam which you know just kind of a little corny but anyways <laughs> that's what I do so I just put an image there and it's going to be a new image and it's going to be this frame here and then that frame has to be resized it's way too big of course so the other thing that you'll find interesting in this tool is that you can do things like so you see how my webcam here is not the right size oh look at that so here's here's another thing there's they're considered layers so things are on top of each other right so in this case as you can see when I move the camera underneath here it's gone it's underneath the picture right so that's the order so if I go here and I, I want the webcam on top of this I would say uh, on the webcam I come here I say right click I say order and I say move up now it's on top of that image right uh, the other thing is you'll find if you ever lose your picture like for example if I if I were to take this one and I were to say order and I would say move up then everything disappears right the other ones are gone in the background uh, well actually if I say order and I say bring to the top then everything goes right they're all gone 
so that's okay because you can still come over here and you can say okay I want this one here uh, bring to the top and then I want my video capture device I want to bring it to the top and now they're in the right order again right okay so that's the ordering the other thing is the scaling so whenever you do this you, as you can see it keeps the aspect it keeps the aspect ratio right so if I want in this case I want to keep the aspect ratio of the webcam but this particular image is meant for uh you know 1080p or well 16:9 ratio instead of 4:3 ratio like this old webcam so then I can take this and I if I try to do this it doesn't work right so it's like most other tools I press shift and then I can scale it to that without you know uh, without keeping the aspect ratio right uh, but in this case I'm going to do this instead and I'm going to take my whoops sorry my webcam which is this one and I'm just going to put it in there like that and that's fine you know it doesn't it's no big deal but of course if you're putting an image around a, a webcam that's like this you'd, you'd be doing the webcam so that it's uh, uh, the right uh, ratio right you'd put the frame properly and, and this is all just you know so the other thing you have to do is you have to add an audio source so audio input capture um, there's only one so in my case um, I'm gonna have to use this other one because the microphone on, my, on this old cam doesn't really work too good so so there you go so now I have this other scene now let's say I have now I'm going to create another scene which will be my desk well let's call it the full webcam and in here I'm going to add a video source and it's going to be existing video capture device I'm going to resize it to fill the screen like this well it's fine <coughs> and as you can see I made it I made it fit bigger right so it's not it's, it's actually over extended and then you can see the quality is pretty like crappy but anyway so I need also I need to add the audio input otherwise I won't be able to talk all right and then I can add a desktop desktop with webcam and in here I'm going to add a display capture which is the desktop and there you go display now I'm going to add the webcam existing video capture device okay then I put that over here <coughs> I'm, I'm going to add the audio source which is the same one existing audio capture and I'm not going to bother with the frame anyways you get the idea of that so now we have the desktop and the image and the webcam and now I can add a final one which is a um, end credits and in here I'm just going to put an image it's going to be a new image again in the same directory and the and the end credits here right all right so now we have the black screen we have the welcome screen we have the welcome with webcam the full webcam the desktop with webcam and the end credits now they're all set up in different scenes and um, we can set up hotkeys so I can say black <coughs> oh sorry the hotkeys they're set up up here uh, uh, in settings over here settings hotkeys now I can say switch scenes black and credits see welcome they're all here <coughs> and Oh geez, there's more than I'm used to OBS Classic, which is a little bit less advanced than this. But anyways, you can play around with these uh, with these um, uh, hotkeys, so you can switch between the scenes without using your mouse, without seeing the this the um, without seeing this on the screen, right? But we're going to show you what what uh, how that works. So, for example, I would start a recording, and then I would be talking the the black screen, so you don't hear anything. Then I get to the welcome screen again. There's no audio there, so you would see this in the video with no sound. 
and then I would get the welcome over here so hey how's it going now you uh, you're welcome to successful JS whatever um, and then you would see me here on this on this web camera and I'm looking at the wrong one and uh, and then I would switch over to the full webcam to say all right so what I'm about to show you is blah 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 this is how it works and uh, by the way the quality the the webcam is going bad bad because I have two webcams going and so it's uh, it's just uh, fighting for a CPU I think so then I have my desktop and I'm showing you okay this is what you got to do you go over here and uh, you do this here's the files and here's the application and here's the uh, OBS uh, website to download is over here you go to obsproject.com obsproject.com slash index and you click on this Windows 7 now the Windows 7 the OBS classic is uh, less advanced and it's but it's also uh, more robust right it's been around longer <coughs> so that might be one of two so then uh, we go back to uh, uh, this um, where I'm not sure I'm trying to see if I've got the right one open broadcast that's the one here all right so now we got the desktop back and now we say end credits now you shouldn't be hearing any no more noise any more sounds because there's no audio and then I press stop recording and then there you go so that's basically the recording we just did and if I show you where those files are actually if I went over here uh, I went over here <coughs> uh, this is where you would find the um, uh, sorry under file you say show recordings and that's where your recordings are and if I play this one This is the one we just did a minute ago. So as you can see, it's showing the video I just did with no sound, right? Welcome over here. So hey, how's it going now? You uh, you're welcome to successful JS whatever. Uh, and then you would see me here on this on this web camera and I'm looking at the wrong one. And then I would switch over to the full webcam to say, all right, so what I'm about to show you is blah blah blah. This is how it works. And then you would see me here. So as you can see now, this is the recording I just did a second ago, and you can see the sound is on there too, right? So this is the recording we just did with the desktop. And uh, you do there. Here's the files, and here's the application, and here's the uh, OBS uh, website to download is over here. You go to OBS program. So then, as you can see, I went down to the end here. So then, uh, and then you end up at the end credits. And there you go. So the end credits, you don't hear anything anymore, right? Because there's no audio on it. And so that's it. So that's how you use OBS. OBS is an open broadcast so software, I believe it's called. Uh, as you can see in, the, in this open broadcast software. Yep, OBS, open broadcaster software. And it's fantastic. It lets you record your desktop, put your scenes. You can do all sorts of different crazy things. Have your webcam move around the screen if you want, you know, with different scenes of webcam on top, bottom, left, right. And uh, and then you can do recordings with the, with the microphone or with your webcam audio. And you can record whatever's, you know, playing on your computer, uh, as you saw right here with this. And don't forget to get your free guide, your free guide to monetizing your passion, which is basically your blueprint on branding and online, uh, on the online branding and attraction marketing and uh, blogging and basically the stuff that I did, it's all in here. You know, I think it's a great guide. Of course, I wrote it, so I would think that, but I'm getting lots of good tips. Uh, sorry, not tips. I do tips. Lots of good comments on it and uh, it's uh, basically step by step, step 1 to 12 in there and it's, uh, it's pretty simple. So here's how you get it. Uh, you just uh, go to my website uh, like this for example successwithjs.com as I mentioned before. You click on work with JS and then in here you're gonna have a link that takes you to get my free guide 12 easy steps monetizing your passion and then you click on that and it's pretty straightforward. You go here and then you fill in your name and email and click on Get My Guide Now and then you're going to get an email with a link to actually download the PDF where you can print it off like I did here or you just view it on your computer, save it on your computer and uh, 
even share it with friends because really uh you can uh, somebody can get their own copy by going to my website going through my videos and all that and it lets you follow along with all my online branding series that I have that uh, talk about setting up YouTube setting up Facebook setting up you know MLSP setting up uh, Aweb or setting up um, uh, affiliate accounts your domain name uh, it's all there right and uh, get you started and of course I'm always there to help if you need any help all right have a great day